Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 31 in chapter 26. Chapter 26 is about DC circuits. We look at this circuit, right? And then we need to take a pay attention. We have two batteries. And then how can we solve this circuit? Get the current for each resistor. And the terminal voltages for each battery. If you do the traditional way to solve the problem, you get the equivalent resistance. It is so difficult because there is two batteries. Bingo! We know we have Gerhoff's loop rule, right? So we look at it there. We think the loop A, H, D, C, B as the, this loop. And then we have loop A, H, D, E, F, G. A as another loop to solve it, right? And then we can see, we think this is the current I1 goes through the resistor 34 ohms. And then the current I2 goes through these branches. And then the current uh, I3 goes through in the middle, right? So we can say, look at the point A. And the current flew in. The current in is I3, the current out is I1 plus I2. So we can write first equation, I3 equal to I1 plus I2, right? And then we consider Chirhoff's loop rule. We consider this loop, see, this one, right? And then we can say the current goes through as I1, so the loop is this way. So now we can say from the point A, First of all, the current goes through resistor 34 ohms. So this is a negative 34 I1, right? Um, because the current goes through negative. And then it goes through the battery. And this battery has the same direction as the current. So positive side, negative side. So we need to plus 45. Then it goes through the resistor 1 ohm. So minus the current I3 times 1. And then goes through the resistor 47 ohms, so minus 47 times I3 equal to 0. This is the first loop. And then we can consider another loop as the A, H, D, E, F, G, right? So we can see from still from the point A, it goes through the uh, resistor 34 ohms, so minus 34 I1, and then goes through the resistor 8, 18 ohms, so plus this way, but there you can see the current I2 goes through this way, so that means the current for I2 is this way, right? So you can see the direction for current and this loop is the uh, opposite, so there we need to use the plus side. So plus 18 I2, and then similarly this current with, is the opposite with the loop, so this is needed to be plus I2 times the resistor, uh, 1 ohm. And then it goes through the battery. This battery is still at the, op at the opposite direction with the loop. So minus, 35, uh, minus 75 volts and then equal to zero. Now you can see we have three equations and we have three uh, variables. So we can solve these three equations to get the value for I1, I2, I3. There you can see we get the current for each branches. And then ask you what is the potential difference between point A and D. So that means you need to get the potential from A and D. You can see this is the current I1 goes through resistor 34 ohms, right? So, so easy. Just use I1 times 34 ohms, then you get it there, right? And then you can say after we solve it, we think I1 is negative. So that means the current is not goes through in the clockwise direction. It is in another direction. So this uh, negative side just tells the direction of the current. It's not about the quantity of the variable, right? You input I1 inside, you get the answer there. Now you can see, you can get the terminal voltages for a battery, uh, 75 volts. So in this one, you can see the internal resistance is 1 ohm, so it's easy, right? Just use the 
EMF for battery minus the current times the internal resistance. Internal res um, the current is I2, so you get it there. Similarly, for the battery, 45 volts, you can see, you can just use the EMF minus the current times the internal resistance. So the current goes through these branches is I3, so you input the quantities, get the answer there. Thank you.